Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect, the 144,000 men that are toiling in this word in sincerity and truth, never lifting their hand off that plow. And much love to the one third of the men, women, and children that are listening, learning, and helping in all sincerity and humility. To all, I say greetings and shalom. All right, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Um, something happened uh, to me today. Uh, I don't want to go into it too much um, because I, I do feel like the Heavenly Father, uh, you know, He sends us certain things that's in a way only meant for us uh, in a time of, uh, you know, need uh, as a faith booster in a time of, uh, you know, to keep our spirits intact so to speak and uh so i'm just going to read some scriptures uh and you know it, it made me realize the the value that we have in the eyes of yahweh shimei Shai. and you know I, I don't you know i don't want to put myself on any type of level or anything like that so this is to talk about all the brothers and all the elect of the heavenly father that are doing his will and that are loving him and coming back to his law statutes and commandments because you know we we are humble servants absolutely and we are in this flesh and we make mistakes and we go off and we try our best to to do his will you know but and we dare not make ourselves with that number but we also have to remember that you know the ones that are serious about this man the lord is going to reward you and the lord sees value in you right and a lot of times we may get complacent in that. You know, we call each other. We say Shalom Malakim, you know, uh, Shalom Kahanyam, you know, uh, you know, uh, peace be unto you, king. Peace be unto you, priest. You know, we say those types of things. But a lot of times we don't feel that embodiment, you know, it's because we're being afflicted. But that's because well, hey, another thing the Lord said, he, he chastised those whom he love. Right. And uh, we are then sons and not bastards. Okay, so I'm going to read this scripture. The one that you saw on the screen, it wasn't the whole thing, but it just had a part of it. But this is Matthew 10 and 29. It says, so I, get, uh, I feel like I want to start up. Yeah, I'm just going to go with 29. All right, this is Matthew 10 and 29. It says, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. Okay, so um, a farthing is uh, was the second lowest, if I'm not mistaken, the second lowest form of currency during that time. Um, I forget the, um, I did a video on it too. I mean, I'm not, it's not even coming to mind, but it's, it's, uh, it's another form of currency that was lower than a farthing, but a farthing is not that expensive. Okay. It's not, it's like a cent, like two cents. It's not a lot of money. And so in this time they were selling, you know, you could buy, you know, personal sparrows and birds for a low amount of money, you know, uh, but he says, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. All right. So even though they might seem invaluable to the people, they are still valuable to you. How about Shine? He's the one that did that. Our, our Lord is the one that that made that 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 sparrow fall from the heavens. You know, that made that um, that made th th those things come to pass. Okay, and He still cares about that 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 sparrow. He still cares about that that bird. Okay, but going on, it says, "But the very hairs of your head are all numbered." All right. So, you know, when you get no, that don't matter if you get a haircut, that don't mean if you got, you know, whatever hairstyle you're going on. It says the hairs of your head are all numbered. You know, the heavenly father, he knows all, man. He got a certain amount of hairs that's on your head, even for you brothers with low hair, man. You know, the Lord got all of that numbered, man. OK, and he, you know, he's going to restore that in the kingdom. But that's not that's going another direction. But it says the very hair. That, that's how important. All right. That's the importance that how valuable you are. When our, our father and his son, they say the very hairs on your head are all numbered. 
That's important, man. For him to even know that. Okay. It says uh, verse 31. It says, and this is the main point, um, but I'm going to read a little bit after that as well. It says, fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. You see that? So we might, we, you know, a lot. He said there were two, uh, two sparrows sold for a farthing, but we are the matter of, of many sparrows, you know, and this is just a small amount. You know, I have these pictures going on, but of you, hey, sense adds up, <laughs> you know, change adds up. I always have like a little bucket or something in my house that I toss money into because it's been, hey, I'll be real. It's been times in my life. That I've been hella low on shekels, man. And then you hit up that little bank that you've been cash, been saving up for a while. Next thing you know, you got, you know what I'm saying? 20, 25, 30 dollars worth of change, man. And it end up being dollars in big amounts. All right. The Lord says we are worth or we have more value than many sparrows, man. You know, you brothers have value, man. You hopeful elect, you have value. In the times of our depression, in the times of our uh, mental state, in the time of being afflicted by our enemy, in the time of uh, adversity, in the time of dealing with household issues, in the time of dealing with your job, in the time of dealing with car issues, you know, we forget our value sometimes, man. But the Lord said we valuable. You know, we work, we are righteous as filthy rags, but he still counted us valuable, man. Because we the only ones that are on the path of righteousness. We the only ones that's seeking after Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. Okay? So he, he counts as his value, man. We have the value of many sparrows. Uh, verse 32. It says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. All right? Yahweh Bashem Yahushah said, Hey, if you, he confess, if you confess him, you confess his name and his father, all right. He said he said uh, you confess it before me. And that's what we do on the highways and the byways and on our pistols, on our videos. We confess the name of Yahweh every time we turn the video on. All right. We give him all the power and the glory in his son. He said he's going to confess us before his father, which is in heaven. And that's what Yahweh is doing right now on our behalf. Behalf. You know, he's up there uh, mediating for us. He's inter He's the intercessor between man and the most high. You know, he's up there pleading our cause, letting the Lord know that like, hey, these men are valuable. He says, I, I've given them thy name. Let me get that real quick. I don't want to get in on that too much, but it's still beautiful. Uh, this is John 17. And uh, six, it says, I have manifested thy name unto the man, which unto the men, which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were and thou gavest them me. And they have kept thy word. That's value. Yahweh Shai said, hey, I manifested your name, Yahweh, unto the men, the 144,000 and the elect that you've given me. All right. Out of the world, because the, the, he said we had to come out of the world. All right. If we were of the world, the world would love us. But the Lord said, I've taken the men that you've given me out of the world. It says they were yours. Thine they were. And thou gavest them to me, just like a father does to his son. He's saying, you gave them to me. And they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. All right. So everything we know Yahweh Shai has received is because of Yahweh. So we send the praises up through Yahweh Shai to Yahweh. Okay. Uh, going back to Matthew 10 and 33. It says, but whosoever shall deny me before him, men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Many people are denying Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. All right. They're calling on false names. They're not believing in the truth. So the Lord's going to, when the time comes and all you people that want to call on different names, Jesus, Ahiah, Yeshia, Yeshua, Yahuwah, Jehovah, he's going to deny you before his father. And what are you going to do in that day? Okay. You're not going to have, you're not going to have anything to say, man. Now let me get, um, I believe I want to get Psalm 72 first. 
This is uh, Psalm 72, and I'll start at 12. It says, For he shall deliver the needy when he crieth, the poor also, and him that hath no helper. He shall spare the poor and the needy, he shall save the souls of the needy. That's talking about the elect. You know, we're like sparrows too, man. We're out there, you know, trying to get a little trying to get a little bath, trying to get a little a little food, trying to take care of our nests and our families. You know, but the Lord said we are more valuable than many of them, man. That's a precious thing. It says, He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. All right. So through life and death, the Lord still values us. You know, a lot of people lose their value in the world when they die. Did the Lord not say uh, precious in the, in the death of his saint? Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his saints. That's Psalms 115 and 16, if I'm not mistaken, or vice versa. 116 and 15. Let me get it. This is Psalms 116 and 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. So through life and death, we still are precious and valuable to Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Okay. It says, and he shall live unto him. Oh, this is back in Psalm 72 and 15. And he shall live and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made from him continually and daily shall he be praised. All right. Yahweh Basham Yahushai is going to continuously be praised, man. It wouldn't jump just jumping down to verse 17. I was about to go to something else, but it says his name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, the power of Israel, who only doeth wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Our men and our men. All right. People are going to give supplication unto the heavenly father. Okay, for all that he's deserved. And then that he's the, he's the only one who does wondrous things, man. Isaiah 43 and 1. It says, But now, but now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. The children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, are the, the, the true descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, are the true Jews according to the Bible. Are the true children of Israel, the true children, the sons and daughters of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the heavenly father who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ. It says, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. All right. And does it not say we're in a place of drawn waters right now? Okay. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The Lord said he's going to put us through the fire. OK, and we're going to be purified and made white like silver and gold. OK, it says, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, you can even smell the smoke on their clothes. That's the power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. That's and that, that's because he has value. He, he cares. Let me get that. He cares about his elect. All right. You know, Esau don't care about his people. The so-called white nation don't care about their people. But our Lord, he cares about us. Even the two thirds, they just got to die first. But he care about them. This is a um, wisdom of Solomon. Three. And nine, it says they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints. And he hath care for his elect. All right. He has care for his elect. And when you have care for something, you take care of it. All right. You treat it right. You know, sometimes you got to show us some tough love, you know, but hey, that's that's a part of righteousness. It's a part of balance. OK, Isaiah 43 and three. For I am the Lord, thy power, the Holy One of Israel, thy savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee, since thou was precious in my sight. Thou hast been honorable and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone that is called by my name, for I've created him for my glory. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. All right. 
So the Lord said we were precious in his sight, man, and he loved us. All right, now he's calling the nation of Israel from all the four corners of the earth, man. And he gave us Yahweh Shai to be an example. Okay. Let me, see, let me get, um, what is it? I want to get, uh, Joel. This is Joel, the third chapter, and verse five. You know, this is talking about the other nations, but I thought it applied. It says, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. All right. And, we, you know, that's uh, they robbed our uh, our sanctuaries, too, and took all of our actual silver and gold. But we're also the silver and gold of the Lord and their temples are their places of servitude. All right. And where it says my goodly pleasant things. Did the Lord not say we are the apple of his eye, man? That's value. That's value, brothers and sisters. As value and the Lord, the Lord appreciates us for, for, uh, I mean, we appreciate him. Let me get that corrected, but he appreciates the men that he had put forth for the people to learn by, right? And he, 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 he has care for his elect. He said, none of the elect can be plucked out of his hand, though we shall write or scarcely be saved. We still got saved. <laughs> Even if you scarcely saved, you still, the main point is that you got saved, man, and that you got delivered. And he that endured to the end shall be saved. Okay? And that's the real spirit that you have to come in and, and worship in Yahweh Hashem Shai. And knowing that he got value in you, brother. You know? He said he, 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 ooh. He said he shall not leave us nor forsake us. So those that are grown weary and have faint hearts. Woe unto you that have lost patience. This is uh, Sirach 2 and 9. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. It says, Look at the generations of old and see, did any ever trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or any ever abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. All right, that's because he count he counts his men valuable because we served him, we served him without question, man. We served him until the end, Lord willing, we be of that number. Okay. Now, I'm going to get one more precept, um, and then I'm going to. Read again the one verse that I read already just to wrap it up. Um, this is Sirach, the sixth chapter, and uh, uh, verse 14. It says, A faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that hath found such a such a one hath found the treasure. You see, and we, we are made friends through this thing, man, because it says the Lord going to call us friends, those who keep his commandments. And he's going to call us friends. And so the friends that Yahweh Shai has, those are going to be our friends. All right. And so the Lord said, when you find a faithful friend, you have found a treasure, man. So the men that are around about you serving the Lord, those are your friends, man. Those are your true friends. OK, the ones that are, the Lord says, these are the ones that are my brother, and my, my uh, mother and my sister that do the will of my father. Those are your, those are your real friends, man. All right, we're serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and he's showing us that we go. He said, uh, "Did he not say a man shall be as fine gold?" You know. Uh, verse fifth, verse fifteen. Nothing doth countervail a faithful friend, and his excellency is invaluable. All right. So brothers all around you are invaluable, man. OK, they, they can't be, is you know, wisdom. They, they say wisdom is it can't be valued or priced. You know, that's how much a faithful friend and a servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, in, is, in, is invaluable. There's no money on the earth that could pay for that friendship. You know, it's fine gold, man. More precious than fine gold. It says a faithful friend is the medicine of life and they that fear the Lord shall find him. You see that? So you fear the Lord. That's how you find the medicine in life. That's how you get the, the valuable, invaluable friends. You know, 
call all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for giving us that because people in this world, they don't have invaluable relationships. They don't have invaluable friendships. They don't have, um, they're, they're not even people of value, man. Ooh, let me, let me actually, let me get Job really quick <laughs> because we know that the Edomites, um, are not people uh, of value. This is uh, Job 13 and four. It says, but ye are forgers of lies. Ye are physicians of no value. You see that? So that the Edomites, they have no value, man. The Lord says he counts them less than nothing and the other nations. But in the eyes of the heavenly father, whom the world even calls God and his only begotten son, whom the world even calls Jesus Christ, we have value. So I'm just going to read this Matthew 10 and wrap it up. As you see, it says uh, verse 31. Fear ye there, fear ye not, therefore, ye are more value, you have more value, you have more value, Salakia. Matthew 10 and 31. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are more value than many sparrows. All right. Brothers, you have value. Remember that. And the Lord is going to show us just how valuable we are in the time to come. And also the people shall see. The Lord is valuable. He's the He's invaluable. His son is invaluable. And it's a constant flow of righteous energy. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. Until next time, Lord willing, this is edifying. You call, you call, you call. Shalom.